Hello and welcome to August's edition of Mixed Media Menagerie. This month we are sponsored by Sean Petit. She provided us some awesome supplies and also a code for you guys to use to get 20% off on her store. Use Menagerie20. Um, this month we are using earth tones, a fountain pen, ruler, spray paint, and the theme is architecture. So Sean provided us some stencils that are related to architecture. You can see the, this like stone and brick wall um, pattern and then also the archway as well as some of her, uh, one of her collage paper packs, which this paper is like super thick paper. It's like legit. Um, so I think like thicker than cardstock. It's really awesome. Um, and those designs are really cool. And then this month, Nicole um, did the drop and uh, provided us with some uh, ephemera to use as well as some ribbons. So I'm going to start in the way that I usually do and put some collage papers down on my page. Um, I am just ripping out some of the uh, more interesting uh, designs from the collage paper pack and then I, the Dina Wakely Media Journal, this blue one, the paper is already like super thick. Um, so I was trying to, um, I wanted to use the collage paper packs that, that, um, Sean gave us, um, but I was trying to make the paper a little thinner, so I was trying to, like, um, rip off some of the layers of the paper because I didn't want this page to end up being, like, really super thick. Um, it kind of worked. I did end up ripping it a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, I'm just collaging it down anyway as background, so it's all good. So now I'm going to just add in some of the uh, ephemera that Nicole gave us. So just these little um, like ledger papers and you know written on papers and stuff. So I'm just going to add that to my background and then the next step of course is to put a thin layer of gesso. It's like I have a theme or like a pattern for these things. Um, just these are things that I just automatically go to when I'm starting a page. So I decided to extend the gesso onto the denim page. Um, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to incorporate the denim page or if I even wanted to, um, but I figured I would just add the gesso. Um, I was thinking of doing it, like using the page in kind of like this shape, this like big at the, at the middle part and then getting smaller towards the side. Um, so we'll see if that happens. So now I'm taking some of my paint. I pulled out all of my neutralish colors. Um, I was kind of going back and forth and if I wanted to do like, cause it's earth tones, right? So 
I mean, anything can really be an earth tone, right? So I was like, well, do I just stick with, you know, your browns and your grays, or do I go into like maybe some blues and greens? Um, and we kind of talked about it and decided that it's kind of like these more neutral kind of colors. Um, so I'm using a Payne's Gray Burnt Sienna, a Yellow Ochre, and a like a Titan Buff kind of color. And then I think it's Transparent Red Iron Oxide. Um, so I'm just kind of, I sprayed the page with water and I'm just kind of moving the paints around with my brush and kind of letting them flow. and having fun and then I'm also going to bring them across to um, the denim page. So my fountain pen that I have, I realized now is kind of more like a, a dip pen rather than a fountain pen, um, but it's what I have. I found it at a antique store in our area for like five bucks. Um, it's kind of falling apart and you probably shouldn't use it the way I'm using it um, <laughs> because I'm using acrylic ink and not like something like a speedball ink or anything um, and I'm really just like especially on that denim page like it's kind of it's kind of scratchy a little bit um, and yeah so but this is what I decided to do with it and it is fun it does add some interesting textures I used it to make some marks on one of my eye cads um, not too long ago and it creates some fun different marks so that's cool so now I'm taking my Liquitex spray paint this is in I believe it's like a Titan buff or it's called parchment um, and I'm making some <clears throat> like the I'm using the stonework pattern and I'm also flipping it over to make the impression of the other side and now I'm taking some Payne's gray and making an archway as like a focal point on that page. So I decided I wanted to use this envelope that um, Nicole gave us and I thought I was going to put it in this bottom left corner. Um, I even went so far as to completely glue it down before I moved it because I, I decided the top left corner looked a little more empty and not as interesting. Um, so I put it up there. I really don't know. I mean, it is the, kind, the same shape as the archway, which is kind of cool and makes kind of like a repetition thing going on. Um, 
I thought I wanted to use the numbers and I probably could have left them there or like put them on the other page or something but ultimately after moving them around I decided I didn't want to which is interesting because I really do like numbers um, quite a bit but I just didn't like how you know they were so black and and it just didn't feel like it went with what was already going on so I took them off um, which I mean looking at it now is it doesn't look so bad or as bad as I was thinking it did but oh well So just to incorporate the theme a little bit more, I'm going to add some of these rub-ons to the envelope just to decorate it a little bit. So I wanted to try incorporating this like pale pink color. Um, so I thought maybe I would use it to um, put the little details on the archway. And so we're gonna try that out and see how that goes. So I wanted to add some more repetition with the archways. Um, so I took the stencil and some black spray paint and I kind of lightly spray painted it. Um, so that way you could see the archway, but it wasn't like overpowering, you know, like it wasn't an obvious focal point like the one on the right is, um, but it was obviously there. Um, then I decided I didn't really like the pink on the archway, so I'm taking this um, like Titan buff color and using that instead <clears throat> to try to make it, um, I guess, fit with the rest of the page. And then I am taking my Payne's Gray and kind of outlining um, lightly the archway so that way um, it's not just like so stark of a contrast between the background and the archway um, and it kind of tones it down a little bit. Even though it's like super light, it really does work, I think. So I really wanted to use this like packing stuff that um, Nicole put in the ephemera packs. Um, I wanted to use it as collage and then I was like, well, it's going to smash and it's not going to look as cool. Um, so I eventually decided to use it kind of like a stencil and add some um, pops of green around my page because green is another earth color, um, earth tone, I guess. Um, just to add a little bit of a different thing, color thing. Um, so I used like a green gold and a sap green and kind of mixed them together and just added them in various areas around the spread.
I went through my quotes and I found this Dina quote that is um, one of the tissue papers that says watch where you put your longings and I kind of wanted I wanted something that kind of went with the theme of you know the doorways and stuff um, and I felt like it watch where you put your longings kind of has to do with maybe doors opening and closing you know in your life and like what you want to do and you know what you're meant to do and, and stuff like that and so I felt like it really went with the theme and, and what I was trying to go for. So I knew that I wanted to add, put something in the envelope that's on the denim page. So I decided to grab the little word card that Nicole had given us and I added some clear gesso to it. Um, it could have been regular gesso with the way that I painted over it. I had originally thought that maybe the words would show through, but then I did this. Um, and I actually, I, really, I think it looks pretty cool um, when it ends up. Uh, but then I am taking my ruler and using it in maybe a different way than we had originally intended or that anybody had ever really intended. Um, and I'm just adding marks to the uh, little card thing. Um, and it's kind of, it, it'll turn, it turns into like this little abstract thing and I think it ends up looking really cool. So then I decided to use the same kind of mark making technique we'll call it with the ruler um, I wanted I really wanted to add some of that pink to the page so I am taking my ruler and making some lines and marks and seeing what happens So I decided I wanted to make this little piece into like a little tag, so I poked a hole in the top and um, used the string that Nicole um, tied all of the ephemera stuff with uh, to make like a little ribbon like thing at the top. And then, you know, I couldn't not add a word sticker to the little tag thing that I put in the envelope. So I found the perfect one, and I, I believe it said it was dreams, and added that to the page, and then or to the tag thing, and that was pretty much it. Um, I really hope that you have enjoyed the process for this month's mixed media menagerie and that you enjoyed the theme and I hope that you will feel inspired to make something yourself. 
please, if you do, make sure to um, use the hashtag Mixed Media Menagerie on Instagram. And you could win next month's uh, ephemera pack. And then make sure to check out Sean Petit's store. Um, she has a ton of stencils and a ton of cool stuff. And use Menagerie20 uh, as a coupon code for 20% off. And then, um, yeah, check out Aaron and Nicole's videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.